Hey everybody, it's Coach PJ. Uh, I wanted to take you through a day of my calorie and macro tracking um, in a condensed form. I've put up um, three videos on this topic on my YouTube channel, but they're like you know 25 to 40 minutes long, and I know a lot of you guys don't have that kind of time to devote to watch that. So I wanted to do, to do a condensed version um, of my daily cal calorie and macro tracking. I think it's going to help a lot of you guys out. And I'll just show you some tips and point out some pitfalls you might be making along the way. So this is my uh, Nutrition IX track app, uh, tracker online. Um, this is the one I encourage all of you guys to use. Uh, my Fitness Pal is fine. I just like this one. I think it's easier to use. And there's more verified foods with this one. You can also easily, and I think you can do this with My Fitness Pal too, scan barcodes. You can easily copy and paste meals day to day. It's easy to change the amounts of stuff. I probably have five minutes a day wrapped up in tracking. That's why I tell you guys tracking your calories and, 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 um, food intake is not hard and it's not, not time consuming and you only get better at it as you go. Okay. So let me just take you through, uh, yesterday, this was Wednesday, um, to put it, you know, to give you some overview um, I think you guys know I'm in my own fat loss phase. I'm eight, I'm eight weeks into it exactly today. I'm down about 20 pounds. Uh, my parameters, I'm at 1,900 calories, which is very, very low. Um, I'm on a massive amount of pro protein at about 1.2 grams per pound of my current body weight. Um, and again, just like I tell you guys, protein and calories are all that matters. Um, if you get those right, uh, the carbs and fat are just going to work themselves out the way, you know, naturally. Now, my protein intake is higher than yours by design. I have my own coach. Um, so my carbs and fat are going to be substantially lower um, within the full body of, of, of a calorie allotment, right? Um, so, but that being said, it's all the same principles that I, I advise you guys to use. All right. And it works. So let me take you through yesterday. Uh, so... Uh, I didn't, I don't eat, usually eat breakfast. I usually don't eat till, uh, 11 or 12 o'clock. Um, I just like to fast. I'm busy in the morning. I'm not, I don't think about food. I'm not hungry, even though I'm on a ridiculously low calorie diet. I don't mind not eating in the morning. I actually train fasted too. And I have no problem doing that. Not to say that you shouldn't eat breakfast or you should train fasted. I'm just giving you some perspective. So my first meal is usually around 11. So this first meal was very simple. Uh, I did liquid egg whites, 150 grams, weighed out on a food scale in a skillet, okay? I did uh, one of the Kodiak blueberry waffles, all right? Um, I don't measure that out in grams. I just uh, take the, the label at its uh, at face value. Um, I probably should weigh it out in grams, but I don't. Uh, don't, don't do that, though, if at all possible. Um, and then I put, so I just, you know, put that, Waffle in the toaster oven. I got my egg whites going in the skillet. Um, I just topped the egg whites uh, with um, a piece of fat-free cheddar cheese, which is 30 calories. Uh, and then I um, mixed in uh, just packaged deli turkey breast into the egg whites and made like an omelet. Uh, you'll see six ounces here. And um, I've gotten on you guys a lot about, you know, you want to weigh in grams whenever you can. This is just what comes up in, in the Nutrition IX app. I checked the label and did the equivalent amount of grams. So the calories were, were correct uh, for six ounces. It, it is, it's a two ounce serving on the label, but then in parentheses, you'll see the gram amount. I go by the grams. So I did three servings of that. All right. So that entire meal uh, was... 487 calories, 11 grams of fat, 30 grams of carb, uh, four and a half grams of fiber, and a big bolus of protein because my protein requirements are very high, okay, by design. So 67 grams of protein. That was meal one, all right, about 11 o'clock. Uh, meal two lunch is usually a late lunch, uh, like at three. Um, this was um, a package of uh, rice broccoli. An entire package of this stuff, guys, is 35 calories. All right, you get the same volume as you would with rice or potatoes or a starchy carb source, but it's a fraction of the calories. It, it's it's been a game changer for me, uh, and I'll get into that more. So a package of that, I just microwave it for 90 seconds. 
Okay, uh, and then I, I weighed out uh, 151 grams of Purdue ground chicken raw, which why 151? Well, I had some left over from the day before, and I don't like to waste it. So I just threw whatever I had left on the food scale, adjusted the amounts in the Nutrition IX track app. He had spits out the calories, and then I also had a, a raw chicken breast left over uh, that I wanted to use and get rid of. So I just threw that in the mix as well. It worked out perfectly. Um, again, I weighed that chicken breast out raw according to the label. Both of these, the ground chicken and this brand of chicken breast cutlets, are already in my Nutrition IX app as a custom food. So whatever amount I'm eating, I just do a quick adjustment, type in the, the number of grams I'm eating, and it does all the calculation for me. Okay, uh, And then I just uh, you know mixed all this together. I cooked this in a skillet, the chicken, uh, ground chicken and chicken breast cutlets in a skillet, uh, threw it, you know, chopped it up, threw it over top of the rice broccoli, and then topped it with A1 steak sauce, two servings, okay, piece of cake. Just scan the barcode on the A1, and voila. This meal, slightly larger. Uh, I usually do 450 to 600 calorie meals uh, for two meals, and then I'll allocate more calories uh, to the evening. This day was a little unusual. Usually I do three meals and it's like 500, 500, 900. Today was different. I did four feeds. Um, but this was a 600 calorie meal, uh, about eight grams of fat, 12 grams, very low carb. I'll get into that too. Very low carb uh, at 12, five grams of fiber. That's where that cauliflower rice comes in. You get nice fiber and 100 grams of protein. Big, big hit of protein, right? So that was that. Going into dinner. We have, I did uh, white fish cod as my protein source. You can't go wrong with white fish because it's very low in calories and very high in protein. It's essentially all protein. Okay, so I weighed out 455 grams raw on a food scale according to the label. This Kroger brand Pacific Cod is already in my Nutrition IX track app as a custom food. So I can just adjust the amounts based on whatever I'm eating, okay, how much I'm eating of it. All right, I, I let this thaw out and then I damp it with a paper towel to get rid of the water because if I don't do that, it's going to weigh heavier and I'm going to uh, be um, cut short on the calories that are coming to me. So I make sure I, I get as much of the moisture out of it as I can. All right, weigh it out raw. Um, I bake this in the oven for 11 minutes at 400. And while I was uh, baking the fish, I use uh, those prepackaged Simply Potatoes. They're more expensive than buying raw potatoes, but they're just really convenient. Uh, I did two servings, which is 166 grams. This also is in my Nutrition IX custom food database. I can adjust the amounts. Uh, weighed these out raw. I do everything raw. Okay, threw them in the toaster oven while my fish was cooking. For about 15 minutes, I seasoned this up. Um, and then when it was all finished, I added, um, I found this spicy banana pepper mustard. Um, I did two, I did, I do not do tablespoons. I do grams. It, the, the serving size on the label, it'll say one, one teaspoon is five calories. Um, and it happens to be five grams. So I just put 10 grams, um, which is the equivalent of two teaspoons on top of my cod. That's my dinner. Okay. Again, this is a, that's under, that's an under 500 calorie dinner and it's a lot of food. All right. Very low fat here. Uh, under two grams. Carbs are at 32, so a little bit higher. I like to backload my carbohydrates to the evenings because it helps me sleep. Okay, most of my carbs are coming at night. So 32 grams of carbs, and then again, humongous amount of protein at 74 grams. Okay, and then I, again, this is unusual, but I did kind of a late snack, uh, uh, kind of a treat. Um, I've sent this recipe out. Well, actually, this recipe I haven't sent out to you guys. Uh, this is just a high protein um, uh, cereal. Um, actually, this one isn't high protein. This is just a, a cereal. Um, I usually put protein powder in with like cashew milk to make it high protein. This time I didn't because I didn't have the calories left. Okay, so this was just uh, a cup of unsweetened cashew milk. I don't have a milliliter reading on my food scale, so I just do a cup. It's We're talking about 25 calories. It's no big deal. Um, I weigh out the powdered peanut butter, the PB2 that I use in grams. I don't do tablespoons because if I, if I 
dig a tablespoon in there, it's probably twice the calories of what it is in grams. So I look at what a tablespoon is in grams on the label, um, and I weigh it out that way. So this was two tablespoons. I think it came out to 13 grams. Put it in the cashew milk, blended it up, and then um, I put it over this Fiber One Honey Cluster cereal, which is freaking delicious. Okay, one cup. I do not do cups. I look at the amount of grams in a cup on the label. All right, weigh it out on a food scale in a bowl. Pour the peanut butter cashew milk over it. Voila. This late snack is was 255 calories, 5 grams of fat. Again, big hit of carbs before bed, 51 grams, a huge amount of fiber, 11 grams, and very, very you know moderate small protein at 11 grams relative to the other meals that I'm eating, right? Um, so that's a day. That's And this is just one day. Um, again, if you've watched some of those videos in the How to Track Calories for Weight Loss video series, you see that I eat different stuff every day. But it's kind of, you know, I'll have three to five, you know, foods for every major, you know, all the main macros, and I'll kind of rotate through them, you know, how whatever I'm feeling. Um, I get pretty creative with the condiments and sauces and spices and stuff that I use, and it's kind of different day to day. The format's basically the same, though. It's, it's three to four meals. Most of my carbs are backloaded into the evening, but, you know, other than that, it's just kind of fair game. It's, it's, I try to get creative with it, try to make it fun. So, um, anyway, as you can see, guys, this ain't real hard. You know, it, my daily macros for the day, uh, completely compliant. I was actually under my 1900 calorie limit, but I had like three or four cups of coffee, which is 10 or 15 calories a pop. Um, so I was probably close to 1900. Um, my fat intake is very, very low because I don't on calories this low, you dietary fat, just, you get a small volume of food and it's calorie dense. So I keep the fat low. Um, as you see about 12% of my total calories, very low. Um, I don't go out of my way to eat fat sources. I get trace fats through carbs and protein. All right. Uh, carbohydrates are very low, 125. You know, that's not no carb by any means, but Anytime you're under a gram of carb per pound of your body weight, it's a lower carbohydrate diet, right? Um, fiber intake, this was actually a little low for me. I go out of my way to make sure I'm getting fiber because it's filling um, 21 grams. almost. I try to get 25 because I was a little low there. And then a massive amount of pro protein at 252. Okay, uh, that's a day. I've been doing this for eight weeks. My hunger on average is probably a seven, okay? And guys, I'm eating relative to body weight, I'm eating a lot less than a lot of you guys are in terms of calories per pound. If you know how to, to, to if you learn progressively how to optimize your food volume, keep the protein high, keep the fiber high, and the fat low, that optimizes food volume, you, I mean, your hunger is going to be there. It's It's inevitable, but it's not like, you know, go eat my door hungry. I'm just a little bit hungry. It passes. All right. If I was eating a, a crap ton of carbs and my protein was lower and I was eating more processed carbs and not implementing some of these plant-based sources, I'd probably be a nine or a 10 hungry all the time, but I'm more like a seven on average. Okay. So this ain't hard guys. All right? There's no, the only rules are protein and calories. If you stay if you have a calorie threshold that you don't cross and your protein's high, that's 95% of it, right? You can't eat a high carb diet if you're if you have a calorie limit and your protein intake is high. You can't do it. So people that fear carbs, no, you need to be fearing calories. All right. So anyway, um, this is a lot shorter than watching a 40-minute video of a full day and all the recipes and watching you weigh out food. So I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions on this, uh, let me know. Again, I'm always here for any ideas you might have. Um, I've also sent out today a, um, a link to my Instagram fat loss recipe database. It's all the concoctions like what I just went through here that I make on a daily basis. There's probably like 20 of those in there by now, and I'll be adding more and more. So you have the link. It's in your coaching section. Um, it's on your calendar. Look over it refer to it, keep coming back to it. There's no right or wrong way to do it. You know, a lot of everybody wants, it seems to want recipes. I'm not a chef, but I enjoy cooking and I enjoy trying stuff. 
sometimes I hit, sometimes I miss. So there's like 20 recipes in there for you right now. You can adjust the amounts based on the parameters I've set for you for your individual calories and protein needs. Okay, that's all. Thanks for tuning in. Um, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks.